morning guys, welcome back to the United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official YouTube channel. I'm Andy Mack, aka Macca the Trapper. We're back here at the lake in uh, Moreland's Fishery in Hartlebury. Remember on the last video we did uh, a test for the uh, trapping with uh, streaky bacon and cooking bacon. We've left those traps in the water now for four days. We're going to be going around the traps now because there's going to be a match as I'm sure you can see behind me. The anglers are preparing for their, uh, for their fishing match and as I said before in videos that the angling always comes first. So we're going to be going around the lake now pulling in the traps, seeing what's in there and seeing the uh, the total and the total weight at the end for the uh, bait test of the streaky bacon and the uh, cooking bacon. Again, we're going to do uh, a weight test. We're going to do the, uh, the the weight accumulation. And if there's any big boys in there, we're going to get the measuring tape out and give them a measure. So before these guys hook up and get their baits in the water, let's get our traps out of the water, see what's in there. Let's take a look. OK, guys, first trap. So we're going to be quick today because there's uh, angling going on on the lake here, so let's have a quick look what we've got here. Yeah, we've got two in there. Okay, big ones as well. Oh no, three, I beg your pardon. We've got three. That's one, two, three. That's three for the bacon. Three, trap one for the bacon. Okay guys, trap two. Let's see what's in this one. Again, trapping with uh, bacon, cooking bacon. Yeah, definitely. Good result there, guys. Definitely got a good result there. Okay, so yeah, hey, uh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, we've got some quick count up there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen in trap two for the bacon. Decent size ones as well. Alrighty, let's crack on. Okay guys, trap number three. And there is zero in that one. Okay, that's zero for trap three. Okay, leave that there to dry for a bit. Zero in trap three. As you can see here guys, the uh, anglers are getting ready to prepare for their match. So it needs to be uh, pretty sharpish. <laughs> Another couple of hours yesterday, so uh, like I said, I want to get their stuff in the water and I want to get my uh, traps out of the water. So like I said, the uh, the angling on lakes always always comes first. Okay, so let's uh, get around here as quick as we can. Okay guys, trap four. And there's zero in trap four for the bacon. Zero, okay. Okay guys, next trap. Again, nothing in this one. So, uh, Bacon's still predominant there, as you can see in the uh, in the uh, trap. There's, I think there's a little one underneath there. I think it's brown bread though. Yeah, it's dead. Those two are dead. Okay. Got two in that one, two little ditty ones. So we'll leave that one there for now just to dry out. That's the haul so far. And get that on camera. There we go. Out of two traps. So not too bad, but it's, like I said, let's uh, crack on as quick as we can. Okay guys, next trap, again, nothing in here. You can see there we've reduced the size of the inlet with the, with the cable tie to stop the carp from getting in. Just hope it doesn't get to stop the uh, cray from getting in. It shouldn't do that, but uh, there's nothing in that one either. Okay. Okay guys, next trap. We've got three in there using the bacon. Not too bad, not decent sized ones. So I'll pull those out, put them back in the total, which is in there. All right. Got to be quick because, like I say, we've got a, a match on. I'm going to say a quick hi to the channel, guys. Hi. <laughs> These are two anglers from where are you from, boys? Sheffield. Sheffield, a long way then. Uh -huh. yeah? yeah? Okay, the two guys from Sheffield. I'm going to catch some carp, not some crayfish. Well, if you catch the crayfish, stick him in my trap. <laughs> we'll, keep, we'll keep them for you. Fantastic. All righty. Okay, guys, let's crack on. Okay, guys, back at the best old uh, trapping place on the lake. Okay, let's pull this one in here. And that's got two. Two for the bacon. Okay. There's two more for the bacon. Okay, guys, next trap. We have a lot. <laughs> One, I don't even know how many is in there after counting that up, but there's a big, big guy there. Look at the size of him. He's huge. Two big fellas. There's some roach in there as well. Better get rid of those. Let's say a quick hi to the channel, fella. How's it going, you alright? <laughs> Where are you from? Sheffield, mate. Okay, down here for the week, yeah? Yeah, down here till last day of fishing Friday. Uh, what do you think of crayfish? Pain in the arse. Really? 
Yep. So you happy the UKCA are here doing the work, eh? Definitely. Fantastic. 100%. 100%. Hear that, guys? 100%. Lovely. There's a massive crayfish in there. That is huge. Wow, look at the size of that guy. All right, let's get those fish back in the water and we'll count up later. There's next trap. We've got, remember I've reduced the size here to stop the carp from getting in. And it's working because we've only got one crayfish in there, but it is a big one. So we know now that reducing the size of the inlet of the, uh, the crayfish trap doesn't affect the size and quality of the crayfish you can catch because there is a big guy. Alrighty, that's one for the next pot. We're using bacon. Okay guys, next trap, pulling in one-handed. Uh, yeah, we've got some in there. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's five using the bacon, another five for the bacon. Decent sized crayfish. Yeah, nice, decent colour. Okay. Okay guys, last trap on this lake. <laughs> Pulling in one handed. And we have uh, one. <laughs> one crayfish. But no fish, which is a result. But unfortunately, the bacon's on the outside of the trap, so they're probably having a good munch on that. So I have to try and get some kind of bait bag or stick it in the bait holder next time. It's my fault, guys. So there we go. That's what's left of the bacon. There, so, okay. Stick that back in. And leave this out to dry. Get this crayfish out and let these guys crack on with their, uh, their angling. As you can see now, they're all baiting up. Ready to, uh, to crack on, so I better make myself scarce. Okay, I'll do a quick total and a quick way up in the van. Okay guys, that's today's haul. Uh, that one lake. That's a big, big crayfish there as well. That's a big one. Uh, that's a big guy, that one there. That's a big male, I think. Yeah, big male. Okay, big crayfish. Alrighty. That one as well, pretty large. Yeah, we've got some decent ones out today. Big, decent males. That's a big one. Nice. Okay. Let's get these guys weighed in. And let's uh, see how many is in there. Okay, this is either one lake, guys, on bacon and streaking bacon. And this is it to zero, as you can see. Stick that on there. So that weighs 2.4 kilograms. 2.4 kilograms of crayfish out of that lake using streaky bacon. Okay, so it does work. It's not as effective as bananas, but it does work. Alrighty. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Okay. Okay, yeah, guys, it's a decent haul out that lake today using the streaky bacon to catch the crayfish. As you could, I couldn't have time to uh, especially talk you through everything that was going on there because, as you can see, behind me, the anglers are setting up for their uh, for their day's match. Anyway, we've got 2.40 kilograms, guys. That's 2.40 kilograms of Turkish narrow crayfish out of this fishery using the streaky bacon. So it does work. It's not as good as the bananas. It's not as good as the sardines, but it does work. It's not as good as the um, as the uh, sticky baits liquefied krill either but that's the whole reason why we do these uh, field research videos is basically to find out what uh, what baits work well for what species of crayfish it's the same as these anglers here going to trap for uh, going to fish for uh, river fishing for say trout and rainbow trout and barbel uh, using uh, carp baits and wondering why they don't catch anything and it's the same with crayfish different types of crayfish go for different types of baits and that's what the the field research here in the uk for the ukca on behalf of uh, crayster america crayster usa hi jerry and mike hope you're well boys uh, that's the reason why i'm doing this because like i say there's not much known about this species so i need to find out which baits work best for which types of crayfish and i think we're really are narrowing it down so like i say i'm about to get off that lake pretty sharp which these boys are going to be starting their uh, angling very very soon so that's about it for today, guys. I'm Andy Mack, and you are watching the official channel of the UKCA on YouTube. Until next time, guys, keep it safe, keep it cray, keep it UKCA, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.